It's time to give up this self-sufficient and self-reliant lifestyle, move back to the city, get a real job, and become a productive member of society. It's time to move back to the city, give up this delusional life, and stop mooching off of society. How often have you heard that? Really, how often have you heard that from people? <sighs> Why do so many people think that they have the right to tell other people how to live their life? Okay, maybe homesteading today in our modern world is a bit delusional. Because, I mean, even Emerson, back when he did his Walden Pond thing, realized that you can't be 100% independent and self-sufficient. You know, no matter today when you want a homestead, did you build your own house from scratch? If you even are off the grid and have electricity, who built the solar panels? So I get that we can't be 100% self-reliant. Sure, we can have a garden and grow vegetables, but can we grow every single thing that we eat? We can hunt, we can fish. Where's the fishing pole and the firearm come from? Did you build it yourself? I get it. But still, does that mean that we should just say a bad word? <laughs> and move to the city? Does everybody have to live in the city, in a condo, in an apartment, and be completely 100% dependent on society? I don't think so. You know, you don't have to be all the way in society, and you don't have to be all the way 100% independent. If you're living on your homestead, and you fall and break your leg or get injured, you're probably not going to lay there and die. I get it. So you go to the hospital. Society pays for that. But, you know, we humans, we need to have a sense of purpose and a sense of independence. We can't all just live off of the system. We, we need to do things ourselves. So there's got to be a happy middle ground. Does this make sense? Seriously, what is it about people telling other people what they should be doing with what they have? You buy a nice piece of property, oh no, no putting a camper on that property. You can't park your RV there. Nope, 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 that's against the zoning. You want to build a tiny house or purchase a tiny house? Oh, you can't do that. You've got to have a house of a certain size. What is it with people? It's your property. I get the general gist of things, but sometimes they just draw the line too far in the direction of telling you what you can do with your own property. You even want to build a new garage or a barn. Oh, you got to go get a bunch of permits. It's your property. It's your barn. Why can't you build what you want to build? <clears throat> I mean, seriously. And then, it's even things like animals. Oh, you can't have pigs on your property. You want chickens? Well, you can only have six or seven and no roosters. This obsession with people telling other people how to live their lives. I just don't get it. Has this happened to you? I mean, relying completely on society, you don't have a sense of purpose. You don't have a sense of self. We need to feel like we're doing something. We can't all be George Jetson just sitting and pushing the big red button. So if we live out on our homestead and we live independent, we do a lot of things ourselves, but you still have to have a sense of community. I get it. And if you live in the big city, you still need to be able to, you know, get away and have a trip. Are we just going to bulldoze 
the Grand Canyon flat and put apartments and condos there? I sure hope not. So where do we draw the line? What do you think? I think it's okay to say that we're homesteaders and to say that we're self-sufficient, even though we all know that we still go to the grocery store and get some groceries. A lot of us still have you know, jobs so that we can pay our property taxes. And we still are on the grid. We have electricity in our homestead. We use so little electricity and it's so reliable here because the water department is, is on our road that it just seems silly to invest in solar panels for us in our situation today. But in your situation, investing in solar panels might make sense if you live in a, a remote area where you can't get traditional power. So everybody, it's, it's about each of us living our own lives without everybody else in the world telling us how to live our lives. And that just seems to be an issue today. Yes, I mean, if YouTube didn't exist, we wouldn't be doing this right now. Yesterday, I had a conversation with someone that lives, a friend of mine, in Brazil. We were discussing an issue for, for uh, somebody else. So, it, you know, technology has its place, but that doesn't mean we can't grow our own vegetables. We've got a garden over there and, you know, tomatoes and peppers and cucumbers and, and you know, things like that. And if you like to fish, or whatever, you know, that's your business. And nobody else has to be in your business. So, you know, enjoy your life, whatever it is. If you wanna live as close to 100% on the homestead as you can, providing as much for you and your family as you can, that's great. If you prefer to be in the city and live dependent on society, where you do just one little tiny task. On the homestead, you tend to be a jack of all trades. You gotta do a little bit of everything. And as you progress toward total dependence on society, you tend to have that George Jetson job. And I'm not trying to offend anybody, but you tend to get more and more specialized to increase your productivity. And then you rely on other people to do you know, their job. Here on the homestead, if a sink starts to leak, I fix it. If an outlet and the wall goes bad, I turn the power off, take the old outlet out, and put a new outlet in. In the city, you pick up the phone and you call the plumber or you call the electrician. It, it's, that's just the way it is. You probably don't shovel your own snow or mow your own grass. There's nothing wrong with that, but don't be telling other people how to live their lives. People on the homestead, don't be telling the people in the city that their lives are stinky and crappy and they cause all kinds of pollution and you know that's the way they want to live their life fine. But people in the city don't poop on the people in the country either because you probably like to have food once in a while and all that. So we all just need to be nice to each other and we all need to get along and we're staying on our homestead what are you doing? You gonna stay on your homestead? You gonna to move to the city? What are your plans? Yes, I know we need hospitals. We don't want people just laying on the ground bleeding to death today. Yes, we need roads. We need infrastructure. I get that the world is, is more modern than it was hundreds of years ago. That's great, but we can still have us humans, we can still have a sense of independence and purpose doing our own thing. We all want to live happy, fun-loving, and carefree and have a purpose in life. You have your purpose, I have my purpose, everybody has their own purpose and we can all be happy and get along wherever we want to live. <laughs>